everybody. I have another pen to show you from the Turkish pen company called Kilk, which is located in Istanbul. I hope I'm saying that city, is Istanbul, Turkey. <laughs> Forgive me. I know that there's some of you really sweet people who are going to write in the comments of how I should be pronouncing it. You go right ahead. Maybe I'll read it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Depends on my mood, I suppose. Sometimes I end up ranting about that because it's like some, I have some people that write in and it's like the rudest things I've ever read. And um, I just, you know, you're real brave behind that keyboard, but come meet me in person. And let's see how we can throw down. You know what I'm saying? I have a special edition pen that Kilk made. It's a, it's a special 2021 edition. It's in this box and it is a camera Laterna fountain pen. And the camera Laterna, uh, the Latin translation for it is bright room. And so camera is room. I always thought that camera though was dark room. Maybe that's, um, you know, not, not camera Lucida. What am I trying to think here? I think it's really interesting because this pen commemorates a very young method of art making. And film can be art making. I mean, some of the stuff that Hollywood puts out these days, I don't fine to be art at all. It's just, um, I mean, I have my, obviously I have my opinions regarding uh, the movies that come out currently. And it's basically just for either shock um, or just to demonstrate like all kinds of CGI stuff, which I mean, it's like, yeah, you, I mean, you can make shit explode, right? As human beings, we've always looked at trying to record things, trying to freeze that moment in time. You know, from 1839 and after that, you have people being able, instead of having a portrait painted, which is you know kind of painstakingly difficult, about a hundred years ago, you finally have the achievements of real cinema where filmmaking becomes uh, a serious art form. And then later on, a huge money-making machine. So anyway, this pen is intended to commemorate that history, which I find to be very, very cool. So here's the outer sleeve, and it does stay very true to the theme, which I think is super cool. So I'm gonna take the sleeve off, and the pen is inside of a black box with a magnetic closure. Ooh la la, ooh la 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 la, la, ooh la la, and kilk is printed on the outside of that. So we open the box and of course it comes with some stuff we've got to look at first, such as we have the camera Laterna warranty. And according to this, oh, it's made of premium resin body material. And it has a cartridge converter filling system. And something that appeals to me is the sterling silver aged matte accents. So it is warranted for two years against any manufacturing defects, which is cool. I like that. They, they obviously stand behind their product and it also has their, if you wanna find them on Instagram, there's their handle so you can go find them. Also we have a use and care brochure and it even says here on the back, please do not hesitate to contact regarding anything. That's, that's really nice. And it says, um, hey man, you wanna come visit us if you're ever in Istanbul, um, come hang. Maybe I will. Maybe, I don't know. I have to figure out a way to finance that, I guess. It comes with a nice cleaning cloth for your sterling silver accents so you can clean it as it tarnishes. Isn't that special? Inside of the box is our pen and it's all nestled and cozy in there and just resting and waiting for me to rescue it from this prison so I can ink it and use it and love it. It comes in this very loud, crinkly sleeve to protect it, of course, so it doesn't get scratched up. Now, here's the pen. I love it, I do. It's a bit austere, you know, as far as the resin color, but there's a, like a sheen or iridescence to it. And it kind of is evocative of 
like celluloid. And I'm talking celluloid that film was made out of, not celluloid material for pens. But there is just this quality to it that is reminiscent of film. And I think that's super cool. And here are those sterling silver accents I keep talking about. So the clip is a film strip. And then right here, right underneath the cap is also a film strip. And it's the countdown of, you know, beginning of some films, it counted down until the beginning, which I think is cool. And then right here on the back has the 925 for the sterling silver. That 925 is also here again, right under the clip. I can't really show it to you. I mean, I could try to get it at an angle. Maybe you could see it. And right here where this film strip clip is, there's, it's like a gear, but what it is, it's, it's to hook up the film where, you know, it's perforated on the sides. It's so sad. I'm thinking right now, it's like, even with photography, like there's probably a lot of young people watching this who have no idea what I'm talking about. Like where you load film into a camera and you have to uh, get the perforated parts of the film onto these little, uh, I, I don't know the right terminology for it, but then you have to wind it and get it loaded into the camera. You guys will never know what that is unless, I mean, you go hipster mode and go try it out. Anyway, that's kind of sad because I, you know, I like analog stuff and I kind of miss it. I mean, that's what I grew up with. The one thing on this pen when I read about it that really was like, what? It's the finial. See that? Yeah, the finial is this film reel and it actually spins. Let me see if I can, I can't see how it is, so I try to, there it goes. I, I can hear it going. <laughs> is that not the coolest thing you've ever seen on a pen? A spinning finial that completely fits into the entire theme of this pen. I think that is like the most, it is so ingenious. You know, I thought like when Visconti had the, like the magnetic changing finials and stuff, you'd put like your birthstone there or your initial, or you know, even just the Visconti low. I was like, wow, that's really freaking cool. But no, this is really freaking cool. Let's take a look at that nib. So I've got a broad steel nib made by Bach on this pen. You can see it, the Kilk logo is etched into that metal. I've got a plastic feed. Cool thing about Kilk pens is I've already mentioned it is a cartridge converter system, but they do come with a converter. Come on now, there it is. International standard converter. So you can put any type of international cartridges in here or if for some reason, you know, this gets damaged, you happen to have an extra international converter around, just pop that baby in. Let's see, I think it is, let's see, it is also threaded. So that's cool. So it's threaded in there. It's not gonna just pop out because it feels like it or anything like that and you won't have some crazy inky mess. And I'm looking at this and the description for this pen says that it is meant to, the shape is meant to mimic a camera lens, which I guess I could kind of see it, but I mean, it's, I, I'm sorry, man, it's kind of a stretch. I mean, if you, if you guys can see it, let me know. But anyway, I like the shape and you might notice that the shape at the end here, which I think is meant to contribute to that lens shape. It's actually created for the cap because it does post. And I, last weekend when I took a look at this pen, I was like, okay, well, I don't know about that whole posting situation because it's obviously not, it's not a friction fit post. What it is, it's actually a vacuum fit post. So, and when you put it on, you could kind of feel this kind of vacuum suction like situation. Uh, and when it's in the hand, like it stays put, it does stay put. And can I just comment on how comfortable this is in my hand? It's not like heavy. It's not super light. It's actually, to me, it feels just right. Overall, I mean, I think it's a, it's a very nice looking pen. Well, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ink up this pen. Let's see how that broad nib writes.
so much for joining me for this look at the Kilk Camera Laterna fountain pen with these really, really, really freaking cool sterling silver accents. It does have kind of an aged look to it to provide some contrast between the lighter parts of the metal to the darker parts of the metal, which I find to be really cool. It gives it some depth, you know, but yeah, this is, I like it. I really like this pen a lot. I'm glad I got it. And um, yeah. Very unique. And that's kind of what I'm looking for these days when I'm looking to add pens to my collection because I have a lot of pens. You know, it's like, do I really need more pens? Yeah, I, I do, actually. I just, you know, I get bored of pens. I shuffle through them a lot, put them away for a while, come back to them. I'm sure we all do that, right? Um, it's a bit excessive, yes, but hey, don't judge me, so. I do believe this is a really cool and unique pen. And let's talk price. So the MSRP for this pen is $300. And you can find this pen at the Kilk website. They do sell their pens. I found mine over at Gold Spot. And I used the coupon code ROY as a shout out to my friend, penboy Roy Word. So yeah, Roy. And you get 10% off of that. So I actually got it for 270 dollars which you know for 270 and I know I said this with my previous Kilk review is I don't think it's that bad for what you're getting because you're getting a special edition pen it's not numbered or anything but I, I honestly I don't know how many they made only they do so maybe I should contact them about that sterling silver accents a spinning finial hello that couldn't have been easy to pull off right I don't know, that's really cool. It probably is actually pretty easy. But anyway, that's cool. 270, I mean, there's some Italian pens with steel nibs that go for over 300 easy. I mean, I'm talking I'm talking to you, Monte Grappa. I, I honestly think 270 isn't bad. 300, to me, that was a bit much. But yeah, if under that 300 mark, I don't know why. I mean, it's $30 difference. It just made me feel better. I'm really, really excited about this pen. And um, I do recommend it. I, I think it's a really cool design. The nib writes great, um, by the way. It, it did really well. And um, yeah, I hope you learned something about Kilt, the company, or maybe this has spurred your interest in taking a look at this brand. They are a very young company. And so far, they are creating stuff that is like really interesting. And I like it. So yeah, well, that's all I have to say about that. And that's how the ink flows. Angel, sing from above.